Hey everybody, so this is gonna be, hold on, let me pull this over here. <laughs> so this is gonna be my May, May, April, May, yes. <laughs> my May Secret Sister unboxing. Um, truthfully, I did already open it, but I haven't opened it fully. I saw a little bit of what it was and I, the excitement is still here. Like, I am so excited. So the reason why I've already opened it was I was waiting for a package from the little high chair thing that Hannah has, the ones that hook onto the table. So we're waiting for a new U-bar or whatever it's called. And uh, so when I went outside, I saw it on the porch and I was like, oh, well, that, that was quick. You know, they sent it or whatever. Well, it was really quick. They said it could be 10, 15 days and it's only been like 10. <laughs> but um, anyway, so when I picked it up, I was like, oh gosh, this thing is really heavy. And so then I was like, I got excited because I thought they were just sending us a brand new little high chair thingy. I was like, yes, this is going to be great. Now I don't have to worry about trying to put this thing together. So then I opened it up and I was like, what is there bubble wrap? And then I was like, oh crap. So this is my May Secret Sister package. And to tell you I'm excited is an understatement. I am so, I'm so excited. I haven't fully unwrapped anything. Noah has popped, it's been on my table like this since last night. And Noah has popped all of these. <laughs> so he's about to die. So I'm gonna show you. Well, let me say, I was watching, who was it? Ellie and Jared. I was watching their video on how to make something with a weird name. I can't remember what the name is. I think it's German or something. But I had shared, I don't, I remember sharing it on my local page, my Facebook page, like my personal one. I don't remember posting it on my regular Facebook page, I think. I mean, my YouTube one. So I was like, I need to go back and look, but I was like, holy crap. I was like, cause I wanted to, I was trying to figure out where I could go and find one of these pans that you have to have to do this thing. And I didn't want to have to like order it online or whatever. I, I'm not a big ordering person online just because I don't like paying for shipping. But <laughs> this is what was in here. And this box is really heavy. So it's wrapped in bubble wrap. <laughs> okay. So, oh, apple skeever. So they're called apple skeevers. So here it is right here. And it has a beautiful bow on it. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay, so. And here's the card. And I should have recognized the handwriting. I felt the handwriting looked familiar, but I was like, it's April still, so it wouldn't have been, you know, whatever. All right, so it says, thanks. Happy May. Have you ever had a new cast iron skillet? It comes unseasoned, so before you use this pan, you gotta season it, you know, to give it its nonstick properties. Heat, um, I heat my oven 350 degrees and generously layer vegetable oil all over the pan. I also use a baking sheet. I bake for two hours. Then you can use your amazing cast iron pan. You can look it up how to season a cast iron skillet on Pinterest. Hope you enjoy your apple fever. Sending best wishes, your secret sister. Like, I'm so freaking excited. So, oh, they look so good. It's just like a deep fried, I guess it's like a funnel cake or something because it's like a deep fried pancake, but it's filled pancake pan. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Like, do you see these right here? Oh, and they have powdered sugar on them. Lord Jesus. <laughs> so that was in there. And that's a heavy cast iron skillet. Okay, and that's why I don't want to order a lime because I didn't want to save that. And I'm guessing this, I didn't open this part. Oh my god. Apple skeever mix. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Oh my gosh, let's see. Separate two large eggs. O N G. Yeah. I was reading the direction. Okay. Now make your own puff pancakes with apple skeever mix. Fill them with jam or applesauce. Load them with whipped cream or dust them with powdered sugar. I am dusting them bad boys with powdered sugar. <laughs> oh my God, this is like two pounds of it. 
So how much does this, uh, let's see. So one and a half, one and a fourth cups of mix. So this will make a bunch of mix. This is two pounds of mix. Oh my gosh. Like you don't have to send me anything for the rest of the year because I am so freaking excited. Like a month ago, I, I gotta go find the post and see how long ago it was. I was just saying how I wanted this. So I am overhill excited and I think my cat is trapped in a drawer somewhere. So anyway, I can hear her crying. But I just wanna say thank you. I am so excited, so thrilled. Ugh, I just, I can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm going to preheat my oven right now. It's 1010. So in two and a half hours or so, I will be making apple skewers and I'll make a video and I'll put it all together with this one. How about that? Okay, all right. <laughs> so thank you very much. I love it. I'm so excited. We're gonna be having these all the time. <laughs> and I'm gonna go on Pinterest and see like what all you can do with an apple skewer pan. Cause it's just, so All right. Anyway, thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> Bake 350. I just put these in here. Dang, on. No, let me do it down here. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Bake 350. Okay. So that's preheating, and I'm going to pull out my pan and put some oil in it. Okay. So let's take a look at what this bad boy looks like. Mm -hmm. So I have a, a chopstick, I've got my batter, I've got my pan, it's got heating up on medium heat, and I have oil in a little squirt bottle, and I've got a plate right here. So, let's see where you need to be so you can share Oh, and it says like two tablespoons. Alright, so I have my oil. This is going to be my third batch. 
I'm gonna test it out first.